There are so many game consoles out there that the list can go on and on. But did you know there are some extremely rare systems you've probably never heard of? In fact, I'd be willing to bet on it. Here are the top 7 systems with games you've never heard of. The Hypertension The Hypertension 1600 was one of the very first video game prototype consoles. The system ran games using a technology similar to that of using a floppy disk combined with an 8-track player. Unfortunately, to this day, there are no surviving games. Searsa Have you ever heard of the Searsa? I bet you haven't. It was an extremely rare gaming console that came out in Brazil, and they only made about a hundred of them before they got removed due to some tech infringements. This was a 16-bit system. It even came with some great games. Neon Magnus The Neon Magnus surfaced around the time of the PlayStation 3. This system definitely lived up to its name, as the system itself displayed neon lights that looked amazing, but drained the system's internal battery, even with the system add-on. The games were all neon themed, and as you could see, were also very impressive for the time. With its 1980s retro feel, this system was short-lived, as it was also a fire hazard. Oracle Omega, or Digital Ouija. Parker Brothers, known for popularizing the Ouija board, had a short stint in the gaming industry, and what a way to stir things up. Using the concept of their top-selling game, the Ouija board, this system was primarily used to contact the dead. The games are highly cursed, with some people even saying that, even with the system turned off, they experienced strange phenomenon in their homes. These games are primarily interactive Ouija boards and role-playing games that consisted of necromancing. The Unnameable. I'm not even going to try to spell this. This recently surfaced due to the law being lifted on whistleblowers, especially with those who have been involved with UFO and otherworldly technology. In Arizona, there is an institute that holds many UFO findings. This was one of them. The games, however, look pretty primitive. This one, for example, is about skin looking to find its skeleton, which is pretty strange. Included with the finding was also an add-on for the system that took a while for scientists to figure out how to attach. But as you can see, the games look more developed as the add-on is added. There has been some debate that this isn't alien at all, but something more demonic in nature. The games seem highly cursed. Cthulhu. This was found washed up along a rocky New England coast. This is an unnamed system, but scientists are dubbing it the Cthulhu. The technology found inside is strangely organic, with an almost stone exterior. The crude engraving is highly ornate, but once again, as ornate and intricate as the system looks, yet again the games seem very retro in nature, and they seem to only deal with one type of gameplay, and that is simply worshipping this strange Cthulhu-esque creature. Terminus X And last, but not least, this was found buried in Greece. It is being dubbed as the very first system ever created, the Terminus X. If you enjoyed this video and interested in seeing more of this kind of stuff, please leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for future uploads as the next video will continue where this left off. See you soon. On the sweepstakes? Oh my god! No! What the hell does that do? Get your work! I can't get away! So the beverage I'm making is called the banana slammer. You've been a dirty girl. Aha! Can I have a new partner, please? Failing YouTube channel. Look at that, all the way Mr. X. It's not terrible.